I'm from Kentucky, so we don't have any kind of native trout. But Virginia has native brook trout, wild brown trout, and wild rainbow trout, all in a 50 mile radius of each other. I don't think there's a fish that's prettier in the world. So we're out here, Lexington, Kentucky. I'm finally back from Ireland from an absolutely wonderful trip. And I'm on my way to go to Virginia to go uh, fishing for some native brook trout and some wild brown trout out in the mountains. It's going to be a blast. So I have my truck, Earl, who's going to make the drive six hours through the mountains, and my dog, Pippa, she's not coming with me, but I thought she should just say hi to the camera. I'm super stoked, I'm really excited, and this is going to be an insane trip. So I'll see you guys out there. Hey, so I'm driving, as you guys can see, and I, and this morning we got hit by a massive rainstorm, and the rainstorm is just gonna go right to Virginia, right through West Virginia and right to where I'm going. And that's gonna be fantastic because I'm gonna be fishing mountain streams, and this rainwater will go in and freshen up the streams and flush bugs and insects into the water so the trout can get fed and the water levels will be higher so it'll make just for better fly fishing in general. So right now I'm just following this uh, following this storm out into Virginia. Okay, hello, welcome. We're in Virginia, me and Zach, say hi Zach. Hey guys. Zach's our editor, you guys know him, he's the best. And I just wanted to show you where we're gonna be staying and where our home base is while we're out on this excursion. So while we're not on the river, we're gonna be in this nice little Airbnb, our humble abode, as you must. And we just have all our gear set up, we're relaxing, getting everything prepared for tomorrow and it's going to be absolutely off the charts. Eric Harvey, the guy we're going out with, he is a ghost. Nobody can contact him. He's a legend in the fly fishing community and we're going to be with him, talking to him, and he's going to show us the wonders of Virginia fly fishing. So cheers and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning bright and early. Good morning and welcome to the great outdoors. We're out here right now. We just drove an hour and a half away from our Airbnb into literally the middle of nowhere. Up and down mountains, on side roads, on main roads, down cliffs. And now we're just in some of the craziest stretch of water I've ever seen. We have pools. We're going after brook trout, brown trout, wild rainbow trout. And honestly, I've never seen anything like it. It's completely out of my comfort zone. I've never fished water like this before, let alone in somewhere as beautiful like this. And Eric Harvey is right up that road. I'm pumped. I hope you guys are too. Are you pumped, Zach? I'm pumped. Okay, we're out here with the ghost of infamous Eric Harvey, Virginia trout legend. He's one of the best fishermen I've, I've ever seen. I've been following on Instagram for many, many years. And I just have a question. I've never fished anything like this. How do you even catch a fish like Well, at the start, you, you would research online and just try to figure out your typical hatch patterns for the stream. Once you do that, you can kind of get an idea of like the time of year, what's hatching, you know. Like this. Those work really good in the winter. I mean, they'll work all year round, really, but... You can also go down to the stream, flip over some rocks, see what type of nips there are. Often, if there's, like, sticks or leaves, that's a really clean from the distance. Small little caddis here. I think, see it. I think it's a little caddis. Yeah, right there? Yep. 
See what they'll do, they'll build cases on the side of these rocks with tiny little pebbles. And then they'll live inside of those cases. They call it case caddis fly. Right here, right inside this big rock. I'm struggling, but I'm learning. It's not the first time I've ever used a freeway. It's all about learning. And I, I'm not super familiar with the small stream, especially fishing with a three weight. It's like a whole different world. And it's really nice to have someone like Eric here to kind of help me out in learning how to do this because it's okay that I'm not the best at, at fishing these small streams. So I'm just happy to be out here. I'm happy to have someone who knows this area as well as he does. And I have a really, really good feeling that we're going to get on some brook trout. Rosie sided days, they have this red stripe, kind of like a rainbow trout does. And they're a really good food source for brook trout. I mean, this one's pretty big. A brook trout probably isn't going to eat that unless it's like a 14-inch brook trout. But. The trifecta, especially the Virginia trifecta, is I'm from Kentucky, so we don't have any kind of native trout. But Virginia has native brook trout, wild brown trout, and wild rainbow trout all in a 50 mile radius, radius of each other. And that's what I'm kind of going after on this excursion. Just a little guy. Oh, it's a little baby one. Might be a trout. It is a trout. It's a little baby trout. Yeah, it is. A little, little baby brook trout. Ooh. Wow. Look at how big the fly is compared to You see that, Zach? Yes, sir. Holy moly, dude. There's one of them, right? That's what we came here for. Okay, so when you're fishing these mountain streams, you, you, you flip over rocks, you see what they're eating, you have your memory bank of what type of insects and critter crawlies are going in here. What makes a pool good to fish? The first thing you're going to look for is structure or some type of habitat for the fish to sit under. Whether it be a big rock in a stream like this, that's going to be most of your habitat, or a tree like that over there but the depth can, can affect it a lot too. You, you really want to have a decent depth, probably more than a foot and a half to two feet. Fish will sit in shallow water and higher water, but when the flows are a little bit down and, and it starts to drop, they're going to congregate in the deeper pools. Oh yeah, big one. Oh, dude, you see that? You did it? That was, that was like a... Yeah, it might not have been a rookie, honestly. I'm so big. I got it. Did you get uh -huh. it on video? Yeah. I just jumped, flopped off. My hook came flying out right back to me, and I was gone forever. I want that other fish to eat that one. I'm sure it is eating those. It's probably every day eating one of those little guys. I'm going to try and be more gentle, because I don't want to do that to a trout. One of the main reasons why I like fly fishing so much is the fact that there is a lot of respect in it. You know, you have respect for nature, you have respect for the fish, and it takes patience, so you have a certain respect for yourself. And when I fling a fish or set the hook and I see the fish go flying, it, it, makes, me, it makes me a little upset because I don't want to hurt anything. My goal isn't to kill or destroy, or I just want to get a little moment of catching a little trout or really any fish and then put it back and then have it go right back to what it was doing. So I don't want to hurt the environment at all in any sense. What makes brook trout so special or why do you like catching brook trout? I, I just love their colors and how beautiful they are. I don't think there's a fish that's prettier in the world. Oh, there They're just really natural, beautiful fish, you know. Dude! Woo! Uh, I 
I feel absolutely incredible. First of all, I'm using a one weight, which I didn't even know existed. It's the lightest thing. It feels like I'm, you know, holding air. And to catch a fish, you know, that size, a lot of other people think it's small, but a one weight catching a trout, fighting it in the current, I mean, it's unbelievable. There's nothing better than that. And it was just a moment that I'll remember for a long time, and I'm glad you got it on camera. But all I can say now is, we got the brook trout down, we've seen rainbow trout or brown trout in here, so let's keep going after it. The holy quest for the trinity is still going on. But right now I'm enjoying catching these brook trout with the main man, Eric Harvey, in the most beautiful part of Virginia I've ever been to. It smells great. Don't you agree, Zach? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's a big one too. Oh yeah. Hang on a minute. Awesome. Got Holy! Now we're out here and we're going after species number two, some wild bass. Oh my! 